So why do some turbos sound like this? While others sound like this? So today I'm gonna to be talking about all these turbo sounds and what causes them to sound the way they do. I've already talked about how turbos work, but here's a quick review. A turbo is basically an air compressor. It works by using the exhaust energy that usually just goes to waste to compress air. The exhaust gases are pushed through a turbine, which make it spin. Now this turbine is connected to another turbine on the other side through a shaft, which pulls in air, compressing it for your engine to consume. But why do you want compressed air? Well, it turns out there is a replacement for displacement. The more air you cram into your cylinders, the more fuel you get to burn, and that means a bigger bend, which gives you more power baby. So as you rev up your engine, your turbo spins faster, sucking in more air and cramming more air into your cylinder. Now let's say you're sending it pedal to the metal, throttle body wide open, your turbo is at full boost, pushing lots of charged air towards your engine. But all of a sudden you let off the throttle, the throttle plate just closes shut. Now all that compressed air in your charged pipes have nowhere to go. Now remember, your turbo was spinning at at least 80,000 RPM. You letting off the throttle isn't gonna stop it. So its momentum will keep it spinning, compressing more air. So the pressure in your charged pipes builds up even more, pushing your turbo into a state called compressor surge, at which point the turbo is no longer effective and the airflow basically stops. Now the charged air has nowhere to go, but to go back where it came from. So some of that compressed air in your charged pipes escape back through the turbo. The spinning blades of the turbo chop up that airflow and that's exactly what you're hearing. Now there's a lot of debate whether this is actually bad for the turbo or not. Some say this is way too much stress for the turbo component. Like prematurely wearing out the thrust bearing inside the turbocharger, loosening the shaft nut, or damaging the compressor wheel. And that's where blow-off valves come in. A blow-off valve sits between the turbocharger and the throttle body and it prevents compressor surge. So when you let off the throttle and the pressure builds up in your charge pipes, the blow-off valve opens up, releasing the extra air pressure. And that's when you hear the whoosh sound. A good blow-off valve would open quick enough and flow enough air to avoid compressor surge. It would also close and seal quickly when the throttle opens to build boost again, which is one of their downsides. You need to build up that pressure you just released once you get back on the throttle. And that's exactly why most drift cars don't run blow-off valves, because they're on and off the throttle all the time. Releasing all the charged air every time they let off the throttle can hurt throttle response and give them some lag, which is a big no-no. You want all the throttle response you can get when you're drifting. But as far as letting everyone in the universe know that you have a turbocharger in your car, both of these situations will do you just fine. So in conclusion, the sound your turbo makes when you let off the throttle or when you're shifting gear is determined by how you have your turbo set up. If you're okay with compressor surge and its potential risks, you don't really need anything. It will just happen with enough boost. But if you want the whoosh sound or potentially a longer lasting turbo, you would need to install a blow off valve. And as far as the performance goes, you end up with better throttle response without the blow off valve. But there are far more important component pieces that go into turbocharging a car that have a much bigger impact on performance. And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about next. On the next episode, I'll be talking about everything you would need to turbocharge a car. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that episode. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram at mzopires. And one last thing, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.